yeah <clears throat> good now that that's out of the way hi so obviously you know what this video is by the title but if you don't or if you're new here i make all of my own background music for my videos because i like making music and i was editing this video and i realized that i didn't really have any music that kind of fit the vibe that i was going for all the tracks that i do have i've kind of overused at this point well in my opinion I've ever used them. So I thought that it was about time that I sat down and I made a new background song. I haven't made anything in a really long time. I don't even want to look up how long it's been, but I've been focusing on making other things and just kind of playing around with stuff that I haven't necessarily released or showed you guys. But yeah, today I just want to bring you along with me. And before we start the video, I just want to say a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring another one of our videos. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it either. Um, you guys know that I've worked with them quite a bit. I really love their service. And I'm going to be talking a bit more about it later in the video. So stay tuned for that. The other day I was just kind of messing around on guitar. And I had like an idea of some chords that I wanted to play. But because I'm me and I'm terrible at... But because I didn't... But because I couldn't quite figure out how to play them or what chords... What am I saying? <laughs> because I couldn't figure out how to play what I was hearing in my head, I kind of tuned my guitar so that it would be playing the chord that I wanted it to play. So I have no idea what this is tuned in, but this is what I thought of. I'm really embarrassed to show this because it just kind of goes to show that I'm really bad at guitar and I'll do anything to get around like actually learning how to play guitar. But anyway, here goes, this is what I have been practicing. Not really. And it's just that, and it's just repeating because this is a background track and, you know, loops are key, apparently. I don't know where I got that from, my brain. So yeah, I've kind of just tuned the guitar so that it sounds and then I'm just going down on this and then so yeah that's that and I'm going to record that now I don't know why I'm transitioning I'm not going anywhere also it's raining outside so that's super on brand for my songs a bit of background noise rain never hurt anyone maybe it did I don't know uh, so my guitar does have an input that I can record from, but I don't always like the way that that sounds. So I'm just going to be using this microphone today and hope, hope for the best, really. You can literally hear the rain. Okay, like, I know that I just made that really big spiel about... I don't really like the way my guitar sounds when I record it via the input, but it's raining, so this is not going to work. And we're going to need to bring out the in, the the thing. The... Welcome to my tutorial. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, this is what I want. By the way, I just have a really big bag filled with different types of cables, and I only use two of them. And you just shove it back under the bed. <laughs> okay, that seems to be working. I don't know how I got that working because it shouldn't be working, but it is working, so. We're gonna go with that. I mean, it's fine, but we're gonna do another take and really try and feel the passion. Okay, feeling passionate doesn't mean playing shit.
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I managed to screw that up so many times. I'm literally just, just. I think the next thing to do is to add the beat. Really, something really, just vibes. Basically, we just need something kind of weird, kind of bad sounding. Not bad, you know what I mean, like bad. Basically, I want a drum machine that doesn't sound real. You know, very simple. I'm not here to write a drum line. You can't see, but I'm pulling out my keyboard. Do you want to be able to see that? I'm too bad. It's here. So now some time has passed and I have made this. This is what I've made. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I'm sure it'll amount to something in the end. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but um, that's fine. We're trying to make a quirky, a quirky time song thing. <laughs> Maybe I should add some piano. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put in a very simple piano. Just to kind of like add to the thing. back me for you it's been one second but for me it's been an hour all I was doing just then was playing around with the structure of the song just kind of looping stuff and putting things in different places that I've already recorded and now I'm at the point where I need to add something else this is really weird by the way it's kind of like not anything like I've done before why can we dance when we're sober uh, I see what I've done here Yeah, I see it with my eyes And it isn't a surprise Cause I'm bad at doing things Yeah Okay <clears throat> I'm busy. If you're wondering what I've been singing, I haven't been making it up. I have a lot of lyrics in my phone and I use my voice memos to write down song ideas. So this is just one that kind of fits. So let's use it. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. So here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba. How will you feel when we're sober? Mm. How will you feel 
when it's over How will you deal with being sober? How will you feel when it's over? Why don't you try being sober? How will you feel? What's wrong with my hair? <laughs> I'm so over Getting sober Um, it was kind of really different to what I've made before for my background music and for my like other music that I do But I like it. I think <laughs> Anyway, if you want to hear the full track It'll be on my SoundCloud and I'll probably use it in some upcoming videos or maybe you've already heard it in a previous video As you guys know this video was sponsored by Squarespace and I know that you know You see a lot of youtubers doing ad reads for Squarespace, but I honestly love their service and I personally do use it I have a portfolio website and I recently updated it and I had always heard that their customer support was really good but this time I was having some stupid technical problem that I can't even remember what it was now but I jumped into the chat and the person who helped me was so helpful and so quick and they were just like oh yes try this and I tried it and it worked straight away and I was like Pfft. but yeah honestly really amazing customer support the actual like interface is so easy to use once you've kind of played around with it for 10 minutes you're pretty much an expert so if you need a website for anything, whether it's a portfolio, like to show what you do online, or a store, or something else, go with Squarespace because their service is so versatile and it's really, really easy to use. And if you go to squarespace.com forward slash Sozzolini, you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain and a 14 day free trial. So why wouldn't you do it really? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.